tutorial we will be creating a depth of field effect in PhotoPaint X7 using the new bokeh blur effect. Anyone who has ever taken a photo knows that a camera lens can focus precisely on only one distance at a time. This is called the depth of field and on each side of the focus distance there will be a gradual decrease in sharpness or a blurring on areas outside of the focus distance. With a larger depth of field you can have sharpness and focus throughout an image but in some cases having a smaller depth of field in an image can be more effective by bringing elements of the image to the forefront while softly blending out parts of the surrounding area. We are going to begin by first defining which elements of the image we would like to keep in focus and where we are going to apply the soft focus. To do this we are first going to use the new Planar Mask tool which will allow us to create an editable area where we can adjust the transition between the area in focus and the blurred area. In combination with a blur effect such as the bokeh blur, the planar mask tool is useful for setting the depth of field in a photo along a linear area of focus such as a road or a bridge or in this case a row of flowers while blurring the areas outside of the lines. So I'm first placing my planar mask roughly along the area of where my flowers are and the central area is the area that will remain in focus. I'm now going to widen my mask somewhat because this is the area where the feathering or blurring will take place between the focused and the outer focused area. Although the masked area is visible, by enabling the mask overlay, we can see more clearly which areas lie within and which areas lie outside of the mask. We can also see the amount of feathering or blending between the two areas and using the mask overlay makes adjusting the mask much easier. Although we can make changes to the planar mask manually, we can also make more precise adjustments by using the settings in the property bar. Increasing the feather range will allow us to adjust the softness of the transition between the focused and the blurred while adjusting the selection range allows us to change the size of the whole editable area. Finally, I'm going to add a slight rotation to the mask so that we follow the line of the tulips more closely. For now, I'm going to disable the overlay mask again so that we can see the bokeh blur better once it's been applied. Next we are going to go to the blur category in the effects menu and we're going to choose bokeh blur. And here we can already see that the tulips along the central area of our mask are still very much in focus and as we go outside of the mask we see the blur appearing. You can, within this window, also adjust the amount of blur and also how the edge is feathered. And finally, you can also adjust the focal range. To apply the mask, click OK. To remove the mask, click Mask, Remove. In this image, I want to place the emphasis on the wine barrels in the centre of the cave by blurring out and softening those barrels in the far and background. So let's go back to the Planar Mask tool. Now instead of using the property bar, I'm now just going to use the rotation handle 
to rotate the planar mask roughly in the angle that I need it in. And here, once I have my crosshair, I can just slide this along. So I'm just going to extend the area of focus and also the area of blurring. So that looks about right. Let's go back to our effects, blur and bokeh blur. Again, we can tweak the amount of blurring and also adjust the feathering. But the first thing we want to do is just to zoom in here. You can see that the highlights, that the points of light are circular. And in the bokeh blur dialog box, you have a choice of aperture shape, which mimics the aperture of a camera. If we change to hexagonal, we can see the type of highlights here also change shape. So this is a choice you can make yourself when you're applying the bokeh blur. And after removing the mask again, this is our final result. We hope that you have enjoyed learning how to use the planar mask tool and applying a bokeh blur. And we hope to see you soon with the next video in our training series.